step outside the rules oh, The payment and the long, long road yeah. And you're always in such a rush Staring at your phone You need another great relief mm. We all need a turn and leave Oh baby, this time We'll be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now cause I can't wait Let's put on our anthem <laughs> Fishes in the stream mm. And down the boulevard of broken dreams So we'll make a little change in pay oh. A minor shift of time and space Oh baby, this time will be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late I can't wait Let's put on our anthem We'll be singing all night long Oh baby, this time We'll be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now, cause I can't wait Let's put on our anthem We'll be singing all night long All night long Hey guys, what is up? It is the last day of July, 31st. Um, as you saw in the previous clips right there, uh, I showed a little bit of coming from Seattle a week ago, uh, last Wednesday, uh, from Seattle back home in San Diego. And I gotta say, I've got great news. Um, I told you that I'm freakishly fast uh, at healing. Uh, I was not healing at all on the trail because of the craziness of the trail, the unevenness, uh, the weight of my pack, the weight of me, and I would tweak it, like I said, a few times a day to where it was just uh, back to zero. So it was just not healing. I've been home a week, and I'm already, and I have a boot and also a brace I wear all the time, and I'm already probably 50 to 75% better. Uh, obviously, it, it, it's a broken bone, so it's still healing, but internally, but the pain is almost gone and I mean if I tweak it which I haven't tweaked it I've been protecting it uh, it would probably hurt pretty bad but uh, just good news I mean it's coming along really fast um, uh, the main reason for this clip is I wanted to say that I am going to PCT trail days uh, I've had a lot of people ask me uh, there's a lot of people that I know personally that are either friends or people I know from hiking that are going so I'm excited to see them and there's a lot of people that watch my videos that uh, would like to say hi and are going to PCT trail day so I'm going and I'm excited about it I went last year as just a, a regular uh, section hiker but uh, it's gonna be mixed feelings I think we'll see but uh, uh, I feel like I'm supposed to be out there so to see fellow hikers that I know or don't know but on the trail still uh, I'm gonna no, I already miss it, so I know I'm going to feel kind of weird, but I know I have to heal. Uh, one of the two options that I was going to maybe do to get back on the trail, I'm not going to do, and that was, um, this event is August 16th through 18th, and I was going to maybe meet my ex-hiking partner from the desert, Adam, uh, there. I'm going to meet him anyway, but uh, and possibly hike the state of Oregon with him, which is what he's doing, but um, it's too soon for my ankle. So I'm not doing that. I'm trying to be wise. I would love to do it, and I'm tempted to do it, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, I have one other option 
and that is and Dave my trail angel came up with this idea the other option is give it another week or two um, supposedly the heel uh, time is four to eight weeks so at the end of August would be almost eight weeks uh, I heal fast um, I've been told by different people uh, Bart somebody you hiked with and other people who know what they're talking about and our doctors that although you know after four to eight weeks you know a lot of the pain and I should be semi healed that I shouldn't really hike on it very many miles or bear weight on it so doing a whole nother section which is what I'm thinking of doing is probably not wise so I have to really think about it and see how I feel near the end of August but my other option would be you know, uh, when I first stopped to come home, uh, when I went to Mexico to Canyon Meadows and did 702 miles, uh, I stopped at Canyon Meadows and um, we couldn't go in the Sierra because of the snow level. So one of my options, which was Dave's idea, is to go back to Canyon Meadows and do that roughly 400 miles from Canyon Meadows north to Tahoe. That would then have me uh, almost with exactly half the trail done. So if I, if I choose to come back next year and finish it, I would have the, the other half of the trail to do. I also like that it's all consecutive. It'd be from Mexico basically to Tahoe. And then as you guys just watched, I did southbound from the Canadian border down to Skycomish, which is like 200 and I think one miles. So I could theoretically hike one way or the other and start on one end or the other and hike straight through all the way. And I like that instead of having broken up pieces here and there and having to try to figure out how to jump up and down to get to all these places. Uh, I don't know what the winter's like. If it's a light winter, I could start early next year. So that is the plan right now. Uh, Write me, let me know if you're gonna be there, if you're gonna say hi, and just, you know, if I see you in person, just remind me, I've had so many people write me, uh, just remind me who you are, your names, things like that, because I'm super good with places and faces and horrible things. So. Anyway, I look forward to meeting you guys if you do go. Uh, if not, write me anyway, and um, it should be just a great event. I really, really enjoyed it last year, and I wasn't a thru-hiker, I just, I just had a great time, and I got to, get some insight and some information on a lot of good gear and new gear so it helped me choose a couple things that I've used so far and uh, that's about it for now hopefully we'll see you there and if not uh, I'll give you an update on whether I go to the Sierra or not uh, towards the end of August check in later